Empower Women podcast for your career and your life, no matter what business you're in. Hello and welcome to a very special episode of our We Celebrate season on the Northern Power Women podcast. I'm your host, Simone Roche, and today I'm joined not by one role model, not two, but actually a whole team of them. It, of course, the Northern Power Women, Northern Power Futures and Power Collecting Massive. So hello, everyone. Hi. I need, I need, a, I need a louder cheer than that. <laughs> Hello, all at the Power Collective Northern Massive. It's International Women's Day week. Hi. Hello. <laughs> That's rubbish. That's rubbish. Lisa, I wanted to get everyone together for this International Women's Day special just to take a moment and celebrate each other. We are just two weeks away. Hashtag yikes from the Northern Power Women Awards. Um, you may be aware that this is the largest event celebrating gender equality in Europe. And as the preparation is going ahead for the big day on the 21st of March, you know, this started way back in June 2021. So it's all go here as well as all the other things that we are up to across our power collective and webinars etc so um, if you haven't caught up please check out last week's neurodiversity webinar it's absolutely amazing Uh, but one thing that makes our awards different I think is that we always ask our nominees to respond to their nomination uh, which is always about getting people to come out of their uh, their comfort zone and high five your own achievement and my goodness it does take quite quite a bit of corralling to get people to fill in that form and put down all the amazing things that they achieved but it's all worth it when we read through them uh, as a team when we read through them as as judges it's just fantastic to celebrate the change makers and the trailblazers that we have in and from the north and beyond um But I'm really, really proud of this team that has built over the last, um, over the the, the pandemic era, I suppose, and beyond. And I want to, you may recall that we did a a, a festive session uh, where we we looked at sort of what our reflections were on on last year and what we were looking forward to this year. So I just thought it was only appropriate on International Women's Day to bring bring the band back together uh, and celebrate all that we have achieved. Some of the team have only been here for a short period of time, particularly Liv, Lydia and Leah. That's not easy to say, is it? Um, who sort of joined sort of, you know, not too far in advance of the, the podcast that we did last time. So it'd be great to catch up with what they've been, what they've been doing, what mischief they've been causing and what they've been enabling as well. So as I say, I want to think that, you know, really want to celebrate with them and hear from them and people often think that we are we this huge gigantic team as we do achieve big things and we really do punch above our weight to to make this celebration fabulous um we've created 750,000 pounds in social value uh, through our power ups as of March 22 as well as sparked over 14,000 conversations so we may be small but we are impactful and we are indeed mighty and since launching northern power women seven years ago on the 12th of March 2015 which lots of people don't know was actually meant to be called ready for change hashtag northern power women we've built this organization on three guiding principles which is all about making a difference paying it forward and being generous with your time and your skills and your expertise so I'm really pleased to say we still stand strongly on those foundations as we build forward better this community from all gender sectors ethnicities levels regions and expertise so you know we and we always believe that you know at northern power women hq and power collective hq that everyone can do something for someone else so why don't we dive into our fabulous team emma Emma, my longest standing team member who kind of came in for a, a short period of time, a few week period to cover the launch of Northern Power Futures and is still here. Can't let her go. Emma, who's your super person? Well, funny you should say that. My super person is you, Simone Roche, MBE. Uh, there's a reason that I've stayed at Northern Power Women for three years and it is because of you. Um, with all the pivoting and innovating that you've done over the last couple of years, Everything you do is for the good of other people. And I find that and the work that we do really inspiring. So, yeah, it's you. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, um, that's lovely. Thank you. Um, I'm going to sweep appreciative, appreciatively but swiftly on. So, Lydia, um, tell us what you've done uh, that you are most proud of as well. 
I think recently was using my power for good in terms of um, reaching out to a cousin of mine who's quite shy and didn't really like her opportunities within careers and helping her prepare for life after university and um, through the power of mentoring and through just giving guidance that I didn't have during university. I think that's what I'm proud of and want to continue to do and help others. And I think that is that is a real highlight, isn't it? That is a real kind of example of the fact that, you know, everyone, doesn't matter what stage we are in our career, where we are in our journey, we've all got something, and it, you know, that we can pass on. And if it is that corralling, which you did really well, <laughs> Lydia, then I, I think that's brilliant. Uh, Philly, what have you done that you are most proud of? Um, I think it's more something that we've done together as a team. So as you said, as of March 2022, We've created 750k in social value through these power up networking and power up mentoring events. And it might sound boring to other people, but the business case for organizations joining the power collective just gets stronger and stronger. So that obviously makes my job easier and easier because it becomes a kind of a no brainer for businesses to invest in the initiative. And it's genuinely making a difference to people's career paths, both the mentees and actually the mentors as well. And most importantly, I think this means there are no barriers to entry for the individual, which is kind of central to everything we do, which I think is amazing. And I think that's, again, something we, 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 we never want that ever to be an excuse, do we, for people to not get engaged or get involved. And one thing I, I want to add on as well is, you know, to, to Lydia's point, talking about her cousin and, and getting her involved. I love the fact that you saw a particular status on our power platform, wearepower.net. Please do sign up. Um, and you saw a status and it was, that status was very much I'm a bit lost. I'm not quite sure where I are, where I am and what I can do next. And, and you reached out, you reached out to that individual unbeknown that they were known to someone else within the team. And I thought, you know, that for me was amazing. And, and I think the fact that, we do we think you know we live and breathe those values and those uh, those guiding principles that that we set up so you know I'm also really proud of all of you and everything that you do and the fact that you feel like you can um um you know sort of get involved and be part of this movement of change so Leah I'm coming to you over in the northeast who is your super person um it sounds cliche but it's definitely my mom um and actually links to this job because last Last year in the lockdown, I didn't have a job. Um, I didn't want to go to university because I dropped out of my, like I didn't actually go to my course, but I dropped out before I went because I didn't want to go. And I said, mom, I don't want to just get any like old job because then I'll know I'll just stay at it for another year or two until I figure out what I want to do. And she said, okay, that's fine. You can wait. And then she said, why don't you go on universal credit? And I was like, mom, I am not going on universal credit thinking like, you know, it was a bad thing that you were on universal credit, which it's not. And if I wasn't on universal credit, then I wouldn't have been able to apply for this role here as it was a Kickstarter um, social media assistant role. So yeah, I am grateful for her for pushing me to go on universal credit. And then I got this job. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, do you know what? And we're grateful to Northern Power Mum as well. Yes, she is a Northern Power Mum. <laughs> <laughs> we need that. And then, yeah, can I flick back to the, the webinar that we hosted um, with uh, BNY Mellon a few weeks ago about the power of neurodiversity. And I think one of the, the big, if you haven't watched it, then please do catch up on our uh, Northern Power Futures YouTube channel and across all our socials. Um, but one of the things that was really prevalent in that conversation was the the persistent parent piece, the, the persistent, um, you know, and it needs that that power. We And we all need to gain that power as well as pass that power. So yeah, so cheers and high five to, to Leah's mom as well. So uh, well, let's, why don't we scoop into our Olivia, who was really took part. And I was very proud of you getting involved in the, in the webinar uh, when we hosted that, um, you know, at the thing you just you you do some interviews and all of a sudden it was like why don't why don't you do a full-on interview and I think so I'm very proud of you getting involved in that but what have you done Olivia that you are most proud of yeah I, th I think that's definitely part of what I'm proud of is that I've got involved with such meaningful work and I've got involved with a group of people that push me and I'm really proud of myself for saying yes to opportunities especially to opportunities that benefit other people and I think that that's where my passion comes from. And I'm just glad to be around other people that feel the same way 
and push me to be better. So yeah, I'm just, I'm really proud to have found my people, found what I'm passionate about and just, yeah, I'm proud to have got over the anxieties that I think that we've all developed over time. Because I think when I was faced with this question, my first answer was just, I'm not really sure what I've done, but actually there's been so many small and big wins in the past year. So there's a lot to be proud for. And I think that was something that was said when we did the podcast back in uh, at the festive time was, a, I think I'm sure we talked about celebrate the small things, celebrate the the, the, the small wins as well. And, I, I, you know, I'm always a big fan is the sum of all those parts is is kind of what makes that magic, um, I think. And talking of magic, my uh, our ops director, my husband, my northern power man, Roberto, who is your super person? Um, I know it. It's a bit of a cliche, but it's the team. Um, we now have such an amazing team um, filled with talent and creativity um, that each day, if not each week, actually surpass our expectations, both mine and yours, Simone. Um, and I think that gives me great hope that we can grow this business uh, and really make a difference. So it's the team, without question, the team. Uh, so thank you for your mum, Leah, for saying, go and do this. And for equally for Lydia, Olivia, Emma and Gina and Philly for joining us because um, collectively we make up such an amazing team and um, long may that continue. And I think as uh, Liv was saying about, you know, having that um, collective um, approach and having that team round you to you know be, because we are small we all have to crack on don't we and all get stuck in um, and you know and I think you know we, we all work hard but I think we you know we're all I think genuinely proud of what we do as well so I think having that support network around us um, of each other as well as our external influences is amazing so Miss Gina Miss Gina who's your super person? Um, so speaking of support networks, my super person is my sister. Um, it's been a really challenging year for our family and for myself. And throughout these challenges, she's always been so fiercely supportive and, and reassuring in times where it seemed particularly difficult. Um, she's incredibly strong and brave, but also compassionate and loyal and takes absolutely no nonsense from anyone. Um, and there are some days where I, I really wish I had some of these superpowers that Louisa has. So yeah, my super my super person is my sister. Well, I think your sister would play back, and I think everyone on this podcast today will say you have those superpowers, Gina. So you know you need to look in the mirror because you're a super person, right? <laughs> so me down to me, what have I done that I'm proud of? I think. I think keep keep going at times when things have been, you know, we're not going to lie, tough. We've had some challenging, um, challenging situations, um, notwithstanding um, what has happened in the last two years. Um, so I think what we've done and what we've innovated and the focus we now have, and I think for some of the team, they're thinking, this is focus. <laughs> um, I think, you know, I think we're having sort of measuring what we're doing and using the power of the Northern Power Women community to fuel Northern Power Futures into the Power Collective, into enable everyone to use that power for good. It sounds quite altruistic. It sounds it finds as if it's something that we could do, but you know what, we are doing it. So I think I'm really proud that, um, especially, you know, you, you've been with me at different uh, um, lengths of time, but you all kind of just crack on. And I think, you know, I, I'm really proud of, you know, like Rob says, everything that you do. I'm, I'm proud of, I think I'm proud of myself as well in, in some respects for kind of just keep going because there's times you just think, gosh, we'll just do the easy thing. I think from a, you know, as we are celebrating, you know, International Women's Day, the event in a couple of weeks and seeing an awful lot of people, I think it's going to be quite overwhelming in that room. Um, and I think that will be something when, when we ask the question, what's your superpower? You can just point around every person in that room I think which will be amazing I think I'm proud of the opportunities that we've created we've talked about Young Abbey who we gave a, a platform and a stage to at the Convention of the North a few weeks ago and spoke in front of 300 people if we weren't doing the connections and matchmaking and power-ups that we were doing that would never have happened you know so I'm really proud of that I think on a wider perspective if we look at this really challenging world we're in I think we're all 
conflicted and upset and worried by what we're seeing on the news, you know, but I see I see the power of those, the power of the, the people fighting a, a war and the power of women um co- you know and the resilience i see that resilience so i'm you know i see that and they're i think my super people out there these these families being sort of torn apart but be that showing that resilience to kind of fight on and fight using their power for good so i think this international women's day is a shout out to everybody out there who's using their power for good for using their resilience but i want to bring back into my my wonderful team when i wish you all happy international Women's Day. We know, you know, we always say, like, you know, the awards are not just for one night. International Women's Day is every day for us. It's our Christmas Day. So a big high five to the fabulous team, Emma, Philly, Olivia, Lydia, Rob, Leah, and Gina. A big thanks. Thank you to all my team for being part of this International Women's Day celebration. Thanks to all of you for tuning in today. Please do tell your friends about the podcast. Reach out on all of our socials and we'll quite happily chat with you at North Power Women on Twitter and Northern Power women and all the other social channels drop us an email send us a dm but join us next week on monday the 14th of march we'll be joined by the fabulous barbara bray mbe you won't want to miss it my name is simone and you've been listening to the northern power women podcast a what goes on media production